What's going on guys? I'm coming to you live from the cockpit of my Ford Expedition. So it's been a crazy like last 10 days or so. I like to create content, but I'm not the kind of person that's gonna film every single thing I do every single day, which is probably why I only make a video like every week or 10 days, because I'm just really busy like running my business and that's obviously priority number one. That being said, the last like two weeks have been absolutely amazing. So a buddy called me about this guy that had a card collection. I might've mentioned it in one of my previous videos. So I bought a really nice card collection, mostly 1960s cards. And I think I ended up getting into that for about $1,500 or something, but it's really good. I picked out some really good bangers. I still have a lot of sorting to do with that. But then after that, he started telling me about all these CDs that he had. And in my mind, I just pictured like regular basic CDs. So I wasn't all that excited about it and I kind of like dismissed what he said, really. But then um, later on, I found out he brought a bunch over. I ended up buying them because they're like Grateful Dead, Pink Floyd, Metallica, like 90s grunge rock. Apparently the original owner like owned a store and he had like thousands of CDs and he was basically like, it's like a hoarder situation. So I ended up buying the first lot of them for a thousand dollars. It was like maybe like 1200 CDs or something. A lot of them are still sealed and stuff like that. So then he calls me back a few days later. I buy another bundle for 400 Then I went back yesterday and he had his truck like filled up. I paid $1,200 for that bundle. And then he tells me that um, he needs to show me like the rest of everything else. And if I can meet him there. And for some reason, I always thought it was going to be at a storage unit. So um, I told him, yeah, like what time do you want to meet? Where's the storage unit place? And he's like, no, it's not a storage unit it's a three bedroom house. And I was like, what? So anyway, this is the next day that this was the conversation we had yesterday. Today being the next day, he texts me like I'm at Cracker Barrel for breakfast with my family. He texts me, asks me if I can meet him at this hoarder house cause all of a sudden there's like a pressing time to get things done and we need to get the house cleaned out. So now I know it's a good time for me to go over there, look at everything and possibly make a buy because he's got himself in a tight spot and he has to get this stuff cleaned out. So I go over there this morning, we look around and it's like thousands of CDs and hundreds and hundreds of sealed CDs and thousands of LP records. So potentially, in my mind, probably close to $30,000 without actually going through stuff. There's a ton of other stuff I'm gonna have to deal with, like a lot of books and stuff. But when I was looking through the books, they're like Beatles books, Frank Zappa, they're like music related books that might actually sell well on Amazon or on eBay or things like that. Or I could take like the Beatles books and put a bunch of Beatles CDs with them and a collector will buy the whole bundle, things of that nature. But man, it's a lot of stuff. So I just called the U-Haul. I got a truck ready for Monday. I'm gonna pick up the truck, go over there and clean out the house. I'll film stuff around the house, show you guys just how crazy it is over there. And uh, we're gonna get all the stuff to my warehouse on Monday and then I'm gonna spend the next like several months of my life sorting and selling a bunch of media, which is something I typically actually avoid most of the time. I do buy CDs sometimes, but I'm very picky because only certain genres sell well, but I got my hands full with this one. And I got some other big news coming up. I'm gonna make my next video about that. All right guys, so here's the hoarder house. We got like a bunch of books and stuff in here. We already cleared out a desk out of here. This room is full of a lot more books, magazines. We've already loaded the U-Haul with a bunch of stuff, thousands of CDs, more stuff like that. Just check this out. We got all these CDs all sealed. Every single one in there is sealed. And we just have boxes and boxes of more CDs. Crazy. All right guys, it's actually a hot day in Florida today. It's like 82 degrees. It is now 3.15 in the afternoon. I got to that house around 8.15, so it was like seven hours I was there, which is kind of crazy. There's a lot of sorting and boxing because a lot of stuff wasn't boxed yet. So right now we're heading back to my warehouse to unbox. I'm gonna have somebody come and help me unbox this stuff. 
uh, so I can get this U-Haul back. But we got a lot of stuff for the $3,000 we spent to empty out the contents of that house. And like as I'm going through this stuff, I'll kind of give you guys an idea of like the kind of stuff that's in there that made me want to like do this deal. And right now I'm driving a big U-Haul truck. And if you ever get like a storage unit or you get a chance to do an estate clean out or anything like that, these big ass trucks are so cheap. It was only $40 to rent the truck and that's like 79 cents a mile. But in this case for me to get the truck, go to that house, go to my warehouse and then drop the truck off, it's probably like maybe 20 miles round trip at the most. So it's only gonna cost me about $60 total to do this. So it's definitely worth it to just rent these U-Haul trucks if you have a big job like this. So this is my second warehouse next door that you guys have probably seen in my other videos when I do the online auctions and everything. I have some shelves over here and this is what I usually use that for. Well, I just had one a couple weeks ago. This is some recent pickups from a yard sale. And then we got some of the CDs we got from the guy. We got more records and CDs here. I cleared out this big spot in the middle. So it's hard to tell in the video, but that's probably about 20 feet by 12 feet. So basically like a big storage unit and I got some shelf space that shelf's empty sorry I'm out of breath this shelf's empty and we got some other shelf space we're gonna fill that up first and then I might pop up those tables put stuff on the tables and under the tables to be able to put a little bit more in here and I'll show you guys everything we got and I still got to go back and get a few more boxes in a few days I was just gas so, and I got to get this stuff unloaded and get the truck back so this is a 26 foot truck I think I went a little too big, but it's okay. I would I could have been fine with the 20, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough room. And U-Haul trucks are cheap, as I mentioned earlier. So yeah, we got everything packed up. We got about 18 feet of space between me and that back wall. And we're like triple stacked high. Mostly CDs and stuff. So we got a bunch of CDs back there. A bunch of CDs, more records, CDs, cassettes. All these and these things are sealed. It's amazing. It's an amazing collection, but I'll show you guys some more once I get it pulled out and start processing. All right, guys, so I want to show you how it ended up over here. This is all the stuff we pulled out of that house yesterday. I got it all into the space of my warehouse. I got stuff on all the shelves. I filled up this shelf. We got just piled up all the way back through here. Filled up the shelves back there. And we have all this over here and this entire shelf as well. So we got quite a bit of stuff. I'm just going to show you like this is all sealed stuff right here. And it's kind of in order. You can see there's like Garth Brooks, sealed Kenny Chesney. So these will make really nice lots of sealed DVDs. This is like a cool Beatles art print we got. So this will be a really good piece for my online auction that I do every once in a while. We got really good box sets over here, stuff like this. And then these are sealed tapes. And this is just random stuff. Like look at this ace of base, the sign sealed. That's pretty cool. Then we got some other notable artists in there, all sealed and it's probably double stacked. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. I didn't even see that. Look at that outcast. That is dope. Sealed. Who knows what that's worth. Then let's just turn around over here. We just got tons of more stuff. A lot of books that I have to go through. The guy said whatever books I didn't take, he was going to throw in the dumpster. I'm not a fan of books going into the dumpster. So I'm going to take time to scan books, see if they're worth selling on Amazon. But if they're not, I'm going to end up donating a large portion of these books because I do not want to see them go into a dumpster. So I'm going to try to do my part and keep those books around. And we got some more CDs over here and they're just everywhere. But I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of like the kind of CDs we got. This is sealed as well. I don't even know who war is. Um, so we got all kinds of stuff. There's some interesting ones in there. That's a interesting graphic. We got, I remember looking through this box, all John Lennon tribute magazines, like time people, just different ones. Oh, and there's playboys down there as well. Found a lot of that kind of stuff in the house too. We got these like box sets, just crazy. And then like, this is the kind of books that we found, like Johnny Cash, Beatles, like all these sports books written by sports authors. Like, here we go. Here's a good example. They're not just like crappy books, you know, Hollywood book of death. There's like a baseball book. And like I said, I definitely didn't want to see all this kind of stuff go in the trash. Look at that. That is so cool. 
a Grateful Dead book. And the crazy part was he told me that the family was considering, or actually the family told the guy that was doing the clean out to throw all of this stuff in the dumpster. They had tried to sell it and a couple uh, buyers fell through and they were just over it. And they wanted to throw all of this in the dumpster. That would have been just sacrilegious. But luckily we saved it all. Um, I ended up giving the guy three thousand dollars for everything you see here check this out just random cd i grabbed metallica sealed so you kind of get the picture and there's literally thousands of cds here and i even bought a couple lots from the guy before all of this so i'll even show you guys what i got next door okay so alexa stop Okay, so I think I might have showed you guys this earlier. I can't remember, but this is the stack that we're actively sorting. And we did buy a few lots of the gut from the guy before we picked up the big lot. So all together, I'm in for the CDs, like a little over $5,000. But honestly, there's probably $5,000 sitting on this table almost. Um, we got all this stuff sorted. We got, these are instrumental, like stuff like orchestra and all that. We got black Americana and jazz. This is all country, a lot of country. But if you look in here, they're good names, good country music, singers. And then we got this stuff sorted out. We got Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson. Not sure what this is. Oh, this is all Frank Zappa, which is really, really good. I've already listed a few of those. We got 90s grunge alternative. This is all classic rock. Look at this pile of classic rock, guys it's two so that's four piles right there that's over 200 cds probably of classic rock and you can look in here we got some decent names some of these cds could be worth 20 dollars by themselves but if not they're gonna make great lots um, this is the pile of stuff we gotta look farther into i don't know pile and then we got these piles down here this is all beetles right here how cool is that and i've already listed a few of those and we still have that and we still have more to sort um we got beach boys we got this guy. I don't even know how to say his name. And then some. we had some more Japanese presses, but I'm listing those today. And I'll show you guys even more stuff we have to sort over here. We're going through these boxes still and like, you know, sorting them in the piles over there. But check out this one. Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead. Grateful Dead. Just goes on and on. This is like, there's so much Grateful Dead in this box. And then even the stuff that's not... Dave Crosby from Crosby, Stills and Nash, Neil Young, Jerry Garcia right there. Let's see what this is. Uh, another Grateful Dead CD. So you guys get the idea. This isn't just your average like CD collection. This is just absolute bangers. All right, guys. So it's been about 10 days since I did that estate clean out. I actually forgot to make the ending to this video, I noticed, but it actually worked out in our favor because I have a huge update for you guys and it's been absolutely amazing. I started processing all the stuff I pulled from that hoarder house and I'm listing it all on eBay and things of that nature. I feel like I've listed maybe 5% and that's a stretch, maybe not even 5%. The amount of what, what I have listed on eBay right now equates to like $4,000. And then I've already sold almost a thousand dollars in CDs. So as I'm sorting these CDs, I'm realizing that they're all from like the 19 late 80s, like 87, 88, 89, and then into the 90s. But there's very few CDs from the 2000s. So it's like this time capsule of media from the 90s, which as we all know is really hot right now. And people are like buying these CDs up. I'll show you guys some sold comps right up here as I continue to talk about this. Um, it's just been absolutely amazing. And then as I keep going through the stuff, I keep finding a banger here and there. So the best thing we found so far was this box of cassette tapes. So we started sorting them and then, you know, there were some good ones like Smashing Pumpkins and stuff, which I just started at auction and they're at a uh, $39.99 auction start. I had two of them and they both got bid, so those are gonna sell really well. But then I found an Outcast one and it was sealed. And I saw that the used ones were selling for 30, so I used Terapeak and looked back uh, 12 months. I saw that a couple people had got $100 for this sealed cassette tape. I listed mine for $99.99 free shipping. It actually sold within minutes. So I was kind of like, man, I probably should have ran that one as an auction because it could have got like $120, $150 out of it. But for one cassette tape, I was amazed. And then I also got, uh, I found, the best one I found was a sealed Nas Illmatic cassette tape. 
blew my mind. I look it up and I start to see like $150 and stuff. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. And then I realized that's for the open one. Mine is sealed. So then I look back at sealed sold comps. One just sold for 590, not that many days ago. By the time I post this video, that tape will already be sold. So I'll show you right here what I actually got out of the tape. But I started the bid at $499. And as of right now, as I'm filming this, it has about 20 watchers and no bids, but we still have like three days left. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'd be stoked to get even one bid and get $500 for this sealed cassette tape. That being said, I think the collection is worth a lot more than twenty or $30,000 like I originally thought. And I'm in this total because I bought a couple lots from the guy before I bought out the hoarder house. So I'm in this total for like $5,200, I believe. And it's just like, think about it, that sealed Nas cassette tape, I'll essentially get back 10% um, of my money from that one item. And I know as we process this, we're gonna find more $100 bills and a lot of $50 bills. And it's just been really amazing. And this is probably the best pickup of my career. I've been doing this a decade. When I was like two years in, I did buy a celebrity autograph collection and I just kept going to the guy's house and buying like five to seven hundred dollars at a time but he was giving me very good deals like five dollars for each photo and then some of the photos i was selling on ebay for like 50 75 100 150 dollars so that was probably the best haul of my whole career was those autographs in a hole where i think i probably spent about ten thousand dollars over the course of a few months and I probably got about $120,000 worth of celebrity autographs, which I am still selling to this day. So those are still bringing me money in. So that was the best pick of my career, but this is the second bit best pick of my career. And you guys saw it here. So it was cool that I got to share this with you guys. And um, I hope you liked this video. This was a really cool one. This kind of stuff does not happen very often. I would like to say that this happens once a year, not even once a year. Like I said, I've been doing this a decade and I've got like two of these huge massive deals over my career so it's been it's been great man it's been a lot of fun and i'll definitely give you guys an update and maybe um in a couple weeks or a couple months i'll make a video and tell you guys how the cd thing's moving along how much i've sold up until that time and how much we still have left to process but i gotta get going uh it's the start of another work day here so i got a lot to do today and it's a friday so i gotta get ready for the weekend and if this is a friday when you guys are watching this video i hope you have a good weekend I hope you have a great year. Just keep hammering away. Good luck with your sales. And thanks again for watching. Peace.